Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to the Aries Next Level Podcast. Super happy to be here with you because with me, I have today Jamon Caceres. He's joining me all the way from North Carolina. We're going to talk about how to successfully do a release of a new series. He has a brand new series called Evolution. It's going to be awesome. Resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hello, Jamin. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Really nice to meet you here through, uh, <laughs> you know, through uh, a Zoom session. Uh, we have known each other through social media, also inside the Annex Level Academy. So we've been working uh, together on some things and uh, particularly your previous release, which was really awesome, really amazing and very successful as well. So to see how that happened, you know, from this, the other side of the screen was really exciting. And even back then we said, well, you know, one day we got a we got to uh, connect and uh, tell our friends, uh, you know, some of the insights, some of the details, you know, of uh, successfully releasing a new series. And then you are about right now to release another one, right? Another new series. So this one is called Evolution and it's going to be a big kind of departure from your previous one. So um, when is this one uh, Evolution going to be out to the public? Yeah, I'm super excited. It's going to be releasing on Friday, June 4th. June 4th. So it's coming up. <laughs> so it's coming up. And I think, uh, tell me, you know, you know, uh, I think the anticipation of uh, releasing something, you know, as an artist, we work in the studio, we work in this thing, you know, that we're making and then release day. It's around the corner. You know, how is the feeling right now inside the anticipation to that? It's exciting, a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> um, Definitely a lot to do. I did something new with this uh, series where I finished it a little bit early, which was really nice. Mm -hmm. So the art is done. <laughs> okay, um, okay. I'm like PR marketing business mode right now. So super excited. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. But before we, uh, you know, we go into the details of uh, releasing a series and so on, why don't you tell our friends uh, a little bit more about the type of art that you are creating and, um, you know, how did you arrive to this? Uh, uh, this work that you do? So I am a colored pencil artist. And as you mentioned, this body of work is going to feel like a little bit of a departure from some of my previous work. I had stayed really in like hyper realism so far. Mm -hmm. um, my new work is leaning a little bit more into impressionism, which that's kind of the direction I've always wanted to go with my work. I just I needed to master the technical skills first before I felt like I could do that. Mm, very exciting. So the the uh, release that I mentioned earlier, when that's when I kind of first met you, is when we were doing that. I believe it was the Small Wars Challenge, right inside the Annexable mm -hmm. Academy. I think a year or was it before the pandemic? It was be pretty soon after. It was during. During the pandemic. Okay, okay, yeah. You know, with the pandemic, that we were kind of lose track of time, but so. <laughs> And you were doing the release of this uh, new series, which was, uh, and I'm going to put some samples here for our friends can see it. And those who are listening to the podcast, you'll have to check it out in the uh, in your Instagram, which we're going to share later on. But, uh, you know, it was this beautiful series of uh, uh, vegetables, right? A series of vegetables almost yeah. floating on negative space. And, um, you know, as you mentioned, hyper-realistically done, but they were really beautiful. They, you know, they looked really juicy. You could almost you know, grab them and, and put them back in the kitchen. Yes. And uh, it was a series that you released and you use the ultimate marketing calendar, right? System that, that we are um, yeah. teaching in the academy. And uh, tell us about how did that one went? You know, how was the, you know, the result of that release? It was amazing. You know, I really just decided I was going to fully commit to everything that you suggested because mm -hmm. I felt like I had nothing to lose. Yeah. I'm just going to try it. And I really followed it to the T and I was blown away. I had never pre-sold work before. Mm -hmm. I think I maybe had four out of the nine works sold by opening day already. Wow. That's amazing. And then within two weeks, eight of nine had sold. And then a couple of months later, the ninth work sold. So it this is completely sold out. Very cool. And uh, now as you look back, were there mostly... Um, previews people that have purchased before were there new buyers combination of it was mainly new buyers oh that's great 
It's yeah, just- I think the fact that there was a lot of storytelling involved in how mm-hmm. to build up and build mm-hmm. excitement and tell the story before I actually showed the work, it got a lot of new people engaged and wanted to buy. Excited. Yeah, and I think that's key, right? Because a lot of times we, we have something that's coming out, we put a couple of posts and we think everybody saw it and everybody's going to be excited and everybody's going to jump over it and make the purchase. It doesn't happen like that, right? Everybody's busy. You know, they may be looking at Instagram. There it comes your post. The moment the dog started barking, now they missed it. And you thought mm-hmm. everybody saw it. And I think, you know, is that repetition of showing up in a way that is not, uh, you know, in your face. Hey, you know, buy my art, but rather storytelling, uh, making an engagement. And I think, you know, something that we talk about a lot uh, in the in the program is the idea of, of people feeling that the artist is excited about it. Because when you are excited about it, then it, it, I think it somehow, some way it transmits by your messaging, by the things that you're doing on the other side. I mean, I was following you, of course, uh, I, I was following your release and, you know, uh, I could feel the, the excitement, the anticipation, the build up, as you mentioned, you know, in the releasing of that. And um, before the, the program, we talk a little bit about how, you know, sometimes, you know, not only when we do something like this, it, uh, it creates not only uh, the visibility and the responses for the public for the, what we are releasing, but also they, there will be some people who come in and actually look at other words that you may have already on your website. And, you know, so we use that as a hook to bring them into everything else that we have. Uh, exactly. Did that kind of happen to you? I think we mentioned a little bit about that. Can you tell us a bit about yeah, that? Yeah, that's been like, I'm discovering the beauty of the small works challenge that you do because I've now had some people come in and buy second pieces of my bigger stuff, some of mm-hmm. my older works. So it totally works. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is, that is great. <laughs> that is awesome. I, I love that. I found that the same that sometimes, uh, and it has happened to many artists too, that, you know, somebody comes for the small one and then they purchase that maybe because that's all they can afford at that point, or maybe that's all they want for that point. But then later, sometimes they come back and they might want the companion piece, right? Well, I had this small one. I would like the second one or the third one or other people who say, well, I came, I purchased this one. Now I want the bigger, I want the upgrade, right? Now yeah. I want the XL. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, as human beings, you know, that's kind of how we function and how we are, right? We taste something, we like it, and now we want it more. We want something bigger. And I think as artists, you know, when we can provide that, uh, I think it's of, a, it's of also of great benefit uh, to us. So uh, let's talk also a little bit about, so so you did that release first, right? We're leading into the evolution series in a second, but so you did that release and then you did also a second release, which was of uh, prints, right? So kind of tell us what was your idea for that? Yeah, I wanted to wait after I did the previous series. I wanted mm-hmm. to wait to make prints out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, And then once they were completely sold out, I did like a limited edition run because I just kept having people ask me like, are you going to make prints or like the one that I really wanted sold? I was -hmm. like, okay, well, I'll, I'll make like a small amount and, and release them. And I basically just followed the same blueprint that I Mm -hmm. did with originals. Super. How did that one go? It was great. The Mm -hmm. same. I mean, I feel like the excitement was not quite as much with like the reproductions and people mm-hmm. had already seen it, but people right. were still really thrilled to be able to get a print of the one they missed out. On. Yeah. So. And, and that's good. And so how much time did you um, wait between the originals and then releasing the print, the reproductions? It was probably like seven or eight months. It was a while. That's perfect. I think that's great. And, and the reason I'm asking, because I think it's a good example, you know, if you do it too soon, then it becomes too repetitive, but that's almost half of a year. So even people who wanted the painting and missed it because maybe they were not paying attention or for some reason, you know, now they, 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 they still have that thirst. Right. Uh, So you kind of make them wait longer. It's like, you know, uh, there are a lot of things right now because of the pandemic, they have been delayed. So, you know, you kind of want them more because they're not available (laughs) in a sense. (laughs) So when they come out, everybody runs to get them. And that is cool because, you know, when it comes to reproductions and things now, it's it's a non, it could be an ongoing, um, uh, ongoing offer that now as you release your next series, we will talk about in a second evolution, you know, again, somebody goes to your website for this series and now they also, oh, he also has prints of this other series and, you know, you never know. 
uh, how that could work. So let's talk a little bit about your new series. I know that you're super excited about that. We can, I love that we can see bits and pieces from that in the background. That's good, like a little teaser. I'm gonna show here a couple also uh, here for our friends to get excited about. So tell us about evolution. Uh, you know, where this idea com comes from, particularly the departure between what you have been doing now and, and moving into something uh, kind of very different from, from the previous one. Yeah, so evolution is, it's very different in two ways. One, artistically, just the way that I'm doing the work, mm -hmm. it is, again, departing from that hyper-realism. So it's almost like an evolution in my own work. And mm -hmm. it's, I really wasn't ready until now to do that because colored pencil is so technically precise. I felt like I right. really needed to master the basics of how to do it before I could really successfully do something like uh, this new series with evolution. And the subject matter is, is a lot. It's a very personal story. Mm -hmm. Something else that I noticed with all of my previous work, I'm immensely proud of it, but it was very safe. And okay. Okay. people who are kind of in my inner circle and I'm not afraid to like really tell me like it is, mm -hmm. they, they made some comments. They're like, you're being too safe. You know, mm -hmm. you have a lot to say and you're not really, really going for right. it. Mm -hmm. And so I've been racking my brain for probably two years on how to start doing that. And I thought, mm. well, I have to start at ground zero. I have to tell the story of how I became the person that I am. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what this series talks about. It's my own mm -hmm. evolution out of like my childhood into adulthood um mm -hmm. there was a lot of crazy change that happened i had this like bizarre period of a couple years of my life and this series talks about it mm, okay so so, so it actually is it has a lot of introspection a lot more personal in a way so i see that how also becomes also you know as you present in your series becomes also uh, more uh more nerve-wracking right <laughs> you know as you mentioned earlier because you are really showing uh, you know presenting something that's more deep personal for yourself and also because it is a departure from something that you have done and that's where a lot of some, sometimes the mindset blocks the insecurity you know those are natural happens to all artists to everybody where you're about to release something new or new departure like you know how is it going to be taken you know how people are going to see it you know how are they going to respond to that and um uh, so so something that you said which uh, i love that is that you finished this series earlier so that they're all done. Now you can fully 100% focus on the uh, promotion and getting ready for the release. So tell us about uh, what's the release going to be look like? Do you have, uh, is it a virtual? Is it in person? Is it a hy hybrid combination of both? It's going to be a combination. I am lucky now to have a gallery in a public studio space. Mm -hmm. And so on opening day, we're going to have a reception where I am okay. In the city where I am, first Friday is a big deal. So that's why I'm okay. opening the series on a first Friday in June. And then online, I'm also going to release the art to the public. I'm making videos of each specific piece mm, to okay. tell the story. And I've also filmed myself in time lapse creating each work. So oh, nice. I'm going to release that at the same time for people who aren't gonna be able to visit in person and they can see the work being made, hear me tell the story. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it'll be a fun day. That is exciting, that is exciting. So, you know, looking back at the previous releases and now these ones, what are some of the things that you have, uh, you know, learned that you say, well, or say, well, I want to do better or I'm going to add to something that I did before? I assume like the, the video part, like I didn't see you doing something like that last time. So I assume this is something new. Yeah, the big one was a, the component of video. And that's something that being part of the Art Next Level Academy has really helped me become more comfortable with and mm -hmm. see the value in. I wanted to be able to give this experience for people who not just are sitting, you know, on their computers, but also people who physically walk into my gallery. If I'm not there, right. I wanted them to be able to experience the whole story, the whole experience. Mm -hmm. And so 
In addition to the videos, I'm also embedding each piece of work with a tag that will interact with a smartphone. Oh, they, super. They can scan it and then it's going to automatically show them the video. So they can kind of go on like a self-guided tour. Mm -hmm. Super. Well, that's very exciting. You know, and also using the technology that we have to do something like this. That's exciting. So how many pieces are in the, in the uh, evolution series? There are eight. Eight of them. Okay. Very cool. Well, Jamin, you know, that's been uh, really great uh, chatting with you. I know we're uh, getting short on time here and, um, you know, wishing you best of success on this new release. Uh, I know it's going to be awesome from what I see already on Instagram and the post that you've been doing, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting excited, <laughs> you know, follow, you. following you from a distance. And, um, you know, I think, uh, again, uh, it, it is just a matter of continue uh, the promotion following, you know, and uh, building up that momentum, the, the, the countdown to the release date. And I think something uh, that uh, the videos will do is, you know, make it even more and more personal. And I think that's something that's huge for people right now, uh, mm -hmm. as particularly as we come out of the pandemic and people start to going out again, see people again. And uh, even if those who are not able to be there in person, you know, to almost see you there on their, on their screens, you know, it just, it just reduces the distance between the audience and the artists. And that is super, super excited. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for our friends, Jamin, who would like to now run and see this, uh, this series follow you as you go through uh, the release of this as well, uh, where can they find you on social media and also on your website? I am on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all at Jamin Caceres Art and my website, jaminkaceres.com. Super easy. S Super. Hey, so I didn't know you were in TikTok. I had to follow you there then. How are you liking TikTok so far? I'm still figuring it out. So <laughs> okay. I'm work in progress. It's, I haven't posted a ton yet, but we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Working. Okay, very cool. Well, I think uh, you'll have a great time in, you know, during the opening and so forth to uh, make some really cool TikToks there that can go there. And something that I love about TikTok is like, you know, when I make a TikTok, then I can use that also for my Instagram reels and they usually perform really well. So I really love TikTok's tools for video editing um, a lot oh, more yeah, than yeah. Instagram reels. And uh, so it's a, it's a no brainer, you know, to take one content from one platform to the other, uh, you just remove the watermark and you know, they work really, really well. Yeah. That platform is amazing. Yeah. Super cool. Awesome. My friend. So thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time and uh, sharing more of what you are doing right now. And uh, wishing you great, great of success. And for all the friends who are watching this right now, of course, we are going to ask you, please uh, follow Jamin. You know, go ahead, go to Instagram, follow him, follow his release. It's going to be awesome. Whenever you see his post, like it, comment, so they can reach more people. We can all help on that. And also um, make sure you follow, make sure you click share on this video as well. And uh, of course, as usual, you need help with your art career. Just reach out to me and I'll put the link also here, the artistnextlevel.com. And of course, you can always message me as well. So thank you, my friends. Thank you, Jamin. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.